we doing everybody welcome back as you can see I'm outside early this morning getting a little something done getting low on kindling bundles this is my little kindling bundle station you've seen me using the chop saw cutting it down to around 12 inches and then taking the uh, kindling cracker that Evan made me at school in welding class and breaking it down. I like trying to stay ahead of it and getting some made up. We got the little fire starters here I make with the egg cartons. I get these from customers at work, the egg cartons. I can get as many as I want. So this is how I do it. Um, Evan also made this kindling cracker. And what I'll, what I'll use with this, if I get a... When I'm using my uh, six inch uh, schedule 40 here is what I use. If I need to fill it the rest of the way up and I got a piece that's a little too big, I'll put it up here on this one and I can pop it in half. So that's a pretty good setup. I don't use that to break the big pieces down. It's a little too hard, but on this little stuff, like I said, you could stick it in there and just kind of pop it smaller piece that will fit down and fill up your uh, bundle so I'm gonna keep on continuing on with this get about 10 made up and uh, we sell these for two dollars a piece now, I know a lot of you uh, probably say that's too cheap for the time I got involved but uh, I do it just for an added draw to the firewood stand our bundles are six dollars a piece in the bag so when I put this two dollar kindling bundle in there it's just something extra that might draw the customer to us and then that way they don't have to make change $20 bill you can get three kindling uh, or three um, bundles of firewood and a kindling bundle so that's a good good uh, setup right there so I'm gonna keep on with this if the weather holds off and it's not too muddy I'm gonna make it out to the farm today I've got a white oak log laying out there still from that white oak blowdown that I worked on it's been over a month ago now it needs to be bucked up and noodled probably quartered to be able to pick it up we're gonna get that processed up and then my father-in-law also has a giant sycamore tree that uh, he needs taken down it's actually a tree that uh, when my wife was a little girl her and her sisters used to play on this tree because it had great big limbs that would come off and droop real low to the ground and you know they would go back there and hang off of it and climb in it and make little tents over the limbs and stuff so it's kind of sad to see that go but it did die and uh, he's afraid that uh, it could fall on cows or big limbs come out and hit the cows because the cows like the kind of lay around in that area so if it's not too muddy it's kind of been a low spot I'm going to try to take that down today too and if I do of course I'll bring you all along for that so stick with me I'm never quite sure what a video is going to be but uh, when I feel like uh, inspire inspiration hits me to make a video or I think I'm going to be doing something that I think you guys would enjoy watching I'll bring you along so I'm going to continue on this, and uh, we'll see what we can get done today. All right, everybody, as you can see, we're headed to the farm. I got all the kindling made up. Got quite a few back stocked on that. And uh, got out of the house a little bit later. When I say we, Evan's over here doing the driving for me today. We are going to go out, and I'm going to get that log cut up. Unfortunately, in the time it took me to make the kindling, the wind has picked up pretty good so uh, I will not be taking that uh, sycamore tree down today in this video uh, I am gonna wait till it is dead calm to do that because I don't know if the insides rotten and I just don't want anything like the wind uh, getting advantage of uh, the situation so I want it to be dead calm so when I do take that down I just got to worry about uh, wedging it and taking it over easy and stuff like that so i do not want wind working against me so we're going to get out here i know already the audio is not going to be the greatest because the farm where our wood yard was out there uh 
it's right out in the open so bear with the audio I'll let the camera run if the audio is not real great we'll put some music or something over so almost there we're gonna get that log bucked up and at least get it home that way I got some splitting to do this afternoon so stick with us All right, everybody, so here's this big white oak log, and you can see, and get back here, you can see the size of it there compared to Evan. And it's gonna be pretty crotchy. There's a lot of limbs that come off of it there, and actually the audio is not too bad. For some reason, the wind just died down. That's a good thing. And then it uh, looks like the father-in-law has moved all these little poles. There's an oak, a couple little cherry. Um, Burr oak in there, another cherry, mostly oak, a couple little burr oaks in there. That needs to be cut up too, so probably get all this done and then try to tackle that big one. I don't know. I might do the big one first while my chain is good and sharp. So here we go. We're going to set up and get it cut up. <laughs>
Well, there you go, everybody. A nice truckload of white oak, and that was a big log. I'll just show you what we've got left here. If you can see the 400 sitting on there, and that's a 25 inch bar. Pretty big piece. And this is a kind of a double piece, a crotch piece here. And I don't know if you can tell right now, but my chain is extremely loose here on the 400. I think uh, I've got most of the goodie out of the chain. I can't get no more adjustment out of it, so it has stretched that much from using it. I keep it good and sharp. See if I can get in here on the teeth. There's quite a little bit left. I know I'm in the sun. Quite a little bit left on those teeth. I could probably sharpen it more, but unfortunately, I'm out of room on adjustment, so it's gonna be it for that chain. All right, everybody, that's probably gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, figured we'd just uh, finish it out here in the truck on the drive back home. The wind picked up even more. <laughs> when we got there, it was calm and it picked up even more. It blew the camera over a couple times, so I'm not sure how that footage is gonna turn out for you, but what a massive white oak log. Yes. That bar was nowhere near going through it, running a 25 inch bar, but that saw was chewing through it. And cutting white oak is so much different than cutting red oak. That white oak smelled sweet. It really smells good. Um, that's gonna be a lot of wood come out of that, just that lower, what What do you think that was? 10 foot of that lower log? I'd say probably 10, 15 feet. Yeah. That's a little long. And it's got a pretty good twist in it there. I don't know how the footage turned out, but you've seen that little uh, clip there I did at the end with the saw setting on top of it. Um, in case that didn't turn out, my chain is stretched all the way as far as it, I can't get no more adjustment out of it. So instead of running my bar, I opted to stop on that. I got new chains at home. I'm gonna come back out at a later time. We rolled that big massive piece and I did not put that on film, but three of us uh, wrestled that thing around and got it up on a pallet so my father-in-law could move it. So he can move that and get it out of the way. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully the footage was enough to salvage a video for you all to watch. And uh, the next time, uh, maybe the next video will be uh, coming out, will be next week after the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria. So man, I hope to see some of you guys there. I'm going and let's just hold this guy accountable. Are you going, Evan? Yes, I will be. He is gonna be going with me, so. Uh, we're both excited. We got some stuff to get done this week so we can head out of town and hopefully, depending on his school schedule, we can get there early enough Friday afternoon for some uh, Friday afternoon uh, fellowship and uh, a little bit of help setting up. So, guys, that's going to do it. And until next time, as always, get outside. See ya.